I am a lucky fella. I was gifted a number three hand plane, and now I have two. So I can answer my own question and see if converting this into a dedicated scrub plane is worth it. If you are like me and have small digits, then a number three will suit, and I think it is dimensionally closer to a genuine scrub plane. However, if you have elephant hands, a number four may suit, and it is slightly longer and wider. I will start by disassembling the plane and removing the chip breaker from the blade. The blade gets placed on some cardstock and cut to width, then a line drawn down the centre. Scrub plane blades vary from a 3 to 7 inch radius. Smaller the radius, more aggressive the cut. In my case I chose to go with a 5 inch radius and after setting a compass and placing it on the centre line, an arc was drawn out. The radius is cut and now we have a template to place on the blade and with a sharpie mark out. Or alternatively you can place masking tape on the blade and mark it on there directly. Not everyone would have a bench grinder. So I wanted to see if it would be achievable by hand, and surprisingly, it can be done. However, I have a bench grinder, and I am not that enthusiastic to do everything by hand, so I'm going to use it. With the angle set at 30 degrees, I slowly grind away until I achieve the radius marked out on the blade, remembering to cool the blade down, as the heat will destroy the edge. At this point I have a blade roughed out with what we call a hollow grind. Then it's off to the diamond plates and in a figure eight motion starting at the coarse plate and then working my way through to extra fine. Refining the edge until I feel a burr, then a touch up on the back. With the strop loaded up with some polishing compound, it's time to remove any burrs and to give that cutting edge that little extra bit of zing. Plus I like shiny things. Adjusting the frog as far back as possible allows for greater waste removal, which is what the scrub plane is all about. The chip breaker is put in place, but as you can see the corners protrude the edges. So I tackle this with a standard file until it conforms to shape. If you don't have two planes, you can just use two blades. For me, this is a dedicated scrub plane, so I am happy to make the permanent modifications, like filing the mouth open even more to aid in the removal of the heavy and thick shavings. With the plane assembled, it's time to put it to the test. It makes heavy stock removal a breeze. The standard adjustment of a bench plane is so nice to have. Getting down to size quickly is a joy. So was it worth converting? Absolutely. So if you have a number three or number four, depending on the size of your digits, take the plunge and make a scrub. Until next time, as always, get out there and make and create.